island is a bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily. Just after they landed. I bet the Admiral's got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. Hamilton's lost the first round. He's probably dug in someplace, doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you. I'm a little disappointed, Corvo. It's like you've gone out of your way to be brutal. It's been interesting traveling with you. But this is the last time you'll see me, sir. Goodbye. My only hope is that Emily comes out of this all right. Out, Corvo. I'll let you go this once. dead, aren't they? That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be in press. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. Whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. Still, stupid girl. Stay where you are, Corvo, or I jump. Corvo! Won't, will you, Corvo? You had your chance to be a hero. In a minute, this will just be another bloody mess you've left behind. If you want your honor back, to rescue the lady in distress? Oh no, Corvo, that's not you. I don't know about you, Corvo. But I've had a lovely time. Intrigue and mystery, butchery and betrayal, the death throes of an empire. And you were an avenging spirit, spreading chaos at every turn. The city's feeding on itself now. Liars and merchants and nobles, like maggots on a carcass. Soon will be nothing left for the rats. It's just as well. The Empire was dying already, completely rotten. 
All that was needed was the right man to send it over the edge. But now, you'll be off over the horizon on an outbound ship. I wonder, are you chasing something or running away? So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. Decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. Long enough for all of the big and the small Where the taller they stand, where the harder they fall We live for today, but we die for the next With blood in our veins and the air in our chest Or we step into war with our hearts on the line The dirt on our boots is shakes free over time is a distant aroma at best A withering smile that's stuck deep in your vest The night air it wraps its fingers around Your body it shakes from a now distant sound Oh, the sound of her voice A sweet symphony A 